Hey, welcome back to Sailing Spyrodon. I remember when we were staring a photo Don't forget the way you look me in the eyes And I keep you in my heart And my heart is where you are I still think of you What did you just say to me? So are you ready for your rectal exam? Yeah. Welcome to the shit show. Do you want one or two fingers? We're removing our waste tank, holding tank from the forward head, because we've decided that a 250 square foot boat doesn't need two heads. So we're removing one. We're making it a shower. So we can shower in a place that we don't poop at. And uh, this thing is gonna go bye bye. So we just had it emptied, and uh, now I'm going to remove all of the things. We ran into a little bit of a problem because they came and they flushed our aft tank and not our forward tank. And we needed the forward tank. So they just got here and came back and fixed it. So. So as you can see, the rebirth of our V-birth started with removing our forward head and the tank from underneath the cushions. The reason why we decided to remove the forward head instead of the aft head was because when underway, the forward head can be very uncomfortable to do serious business in. After removing the head, we removed the vinyl from the wall and scrubbed what was left of the foam that was between the vinyl and the wall. The foam was really old, so it fell down like dust. Okay. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on YouTube. Welcome to Sailing Spy. Anyways, we are going to get to measuring this aft cab and the V-Birth, and then we are going to be off to Austin. There is a hurricane happening right now. Have a good one. Hey, why, why, is this, why is it facing this side, that's on this side, and then you're on this side, and then I'm on this side. Because that's okay. how cameras work. Why? I don't know. <laughs> but say bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Alright, so I had to edit some of that out because he was being so silly and ridiculous during that whole video. The point of it was that we were going to measure the aft cab and the V-berth, drive to Austin where our mattresses are, and cut them out to be put into the boat. It's about a three and a half hour drive to Austin on a good day if there's no traffic. However, it does not matter if you leave at 10 o'clock at night or 6 in the morning. There is a good chance that your trip to Austin is going to take twice as long. This is Batman. 
he was John and I's first baby. We got him when he was a puppy, and he was 10 years old in this video. Unfortunately, he recently was diagnosed with bone cancer, which affected his health and happiness very quickly, so we made the decision to put him to rest. He was an American Staffordshire Terrier, which is another fancier word for pit bull. He never showed an inch of aggression towards humans or dogs, even when he was provoked or attacked. He was everyone's best friend. We are in project mode. This is the last few weeks that we will have our Austin home. We are under contract already. Oh, thank you, Jen. We have sold our Houston house. We've been living yeah. on the boat for two months now. Yeah, and, and we're going to already sell. We're going to sell for, for three days the year. Yes. Then we're going to come back to sell. <laughs> then we're going to come back to living in a home. Maybe. We'll see where we go from after sailing. But today's project is finding fabric for our new cushions in our v yep. and our aft cab. Can I tell them now? Tell them what? I need to tell something. Go ahead, tell them something. My, first, my dad was, was cutting off a mattress that was inside a white like, cover. I was covering a mattress. It was covered. And then my, my dad draw it on it and see where he wants to cut it. And then he was making cushions for me in the beaver. In the beaver, yep. That's where your room will be, right? It's my new room. weekend in Austin we drove back to Houston where we would then see if the mattresses fit and started the rest of the projects for our rebirth the V birth project Me again and you won't do it all. Yeah. Try to go around and get it. Help it out. <laughs> and I have to. 
If you would like a deeper detailed video on our rebirth construction, such as where our supplies came from, how long it took for us to finish this project, what kind of money did we spend on it, there will be a link below for our Patreons. Sign up for our Patreons account and you will be given a password which you could use on our vault on our website. Coming soon, the vault will be loaded with do-it-yourself videos, anything from how to rebed hatches, port light windows, how to use soldering iron, how to make cushions, how to work on your engine, and so much more. If you have any specific questions, go ahead and leave it in the comment below. We will do our best to answer any serious questions regarding sailboat life. We are always open to suggestions, so if you have any suggestions or advice, please let us know. Now some footage has mysteriously disappeared off of my laptop, and I cannot find the footage of us doing the walls. So I'm just going to skip on ahead to the finishing project right after this short video. If you have any questions, shoot us a message. Hi everybody. So, I got some glue try to glue my velcro ceiling up and apparently you should read the directions on the glue bottle before gluing because it's just to hold this for one to two hours and uh, I didn't really make any bracing ahead of time so <laughs> chances are I might be here for a little while uh, I'm stuck anywho trying to do a ceiling in this cool wainscoting stuff. And I'm practicing my yoga. And I'm a sad panda. Actually, that's a sad panda. But. Anywho, y'all have a wonderful day.